Oh uh, yeah. Right now this video is on if I'm socialising in networks, um, how do I interact with people, or how do I socialise with people who are focused on groups? Now, <clears throat> for example, this could be a group here that's doing an activity uh, that I would quite like to join in. So, although I'm in network mode, I quite like to join the group so that I can do the activity of the group, but I don't want to belong to the group. Okay, because if I try and belong to the group, I have to let others tell me what to do. But I've made a conscious choice to actually choose what I do. So the dilemma is, is I don't want to give up my ability to choose what I do just so I can get into the group and do the thing that the group's doing. So how I do that um, is essentially making sure the other in the other videos I've explained is the key to the network socialising is to constantly spread goodwill to others. So I make choices that spread goodwill. So I go up to the group. My intention is is to spread goodwill to every single group member. Okay, and then they enjoy me being around. I'm not in the group, but they enjoy me being around them. So I'm outside of the group, so I'm an outsider, but I join in because I spread goodwill to the group members. Now I do have to be careful because many of these groups often have a leader, and that leader will think this is their job to tell me what to do. And of course I will reject being told what to do because I'm in network socialising mode. So when I go to the group, spreading goodwill, what I tend to do is, is make sure that the leader knows that I have no intention of joining the group, nor do I want to lead the group, nor do I want to change how the group operates. I say the group is fantastic and I just want to share the activity, to share the joy with members of the group. And this is quite key because quite often the ability to make my own choices means that I that I come across as a very uh, strong self-willed person because I think for myself I don't need the, like the protection of the group because I trust myself and the leaders can see that as a as what I want when I join a group is to become their leader which I don't of course because that sacrifices my choice of socializing so what I need to do is to consciously again consciously Go to the leader and explain to the leader I have no intention of being the group leader and I really I don't want to join the group but I want to spread goodwill to your group. What happens then is I effectively get to participate with the group, meet group members and they end up often having a sort of the same sort of socialising with them. They, some, some of the group members will join my network and will become network socialising friends sharing goodwill to each other but I'm, I'm never part of the group I'm this sort of um, accepted outsider if you like maverick almost but I have a great time in that group I spread lots of goodwill in that group and the group also gives me lots of goodwill and support okay? but I'm not in the group but I have to make sure that this is a conscious process of doing this yeah? being conscious social choices I just need to be aware that the leader and the group understand my conscious choice and that I don't want to belong to the group but I want to give the group goodwill and then, now, then I can socialise with people in the group and also meet people who are like me who really want to socialise like this. Okay, So it is possible to, for me as an individual to share an activity with the members of the group. Okay, But again it's all down to this conscious choice thing and be aware that it is perfectly normal in group socialising for the group leader to tell me what to do. They're not being horrible to me, they're just socialising in group mode. Just because I've chosen to socialise in network choose what I do mode doesn't make the group leader wrong when he tries to tell me what to do. I've just got to consciously explain to the leader that I socialise differently. I want to spread goodwill to your group so that by sharing the activity I'm repeating myself now but it's quite sort of crucial for me anyway was to understand that this is perfectly normal for a group leader and for members of a group to tell me what to do and I shouldn't get angry with it 
I should just accept that is how they're socialising, that is their choice in how they socialise. It is not my job to change them, nor to tell them what to do. So if I understand that, it's easier for me to not get angry when they try and tell me what to do. And I can also deal with it by just consciously explaining to them that I have a different, made a different choice in how I socialise. And I only share what works for me, I only do things, make choices about me that spread goodwill to them. Okay? Again, I'm repeating, but this is, I found this very important because the group format at the moment dominates. So you're more likely to meet people who socialise in group mode than you are people who socialise in network mode. Okay, I'm hoping that makes sense. And I'll see you soon. Bye.